Okay, I looked at the spring compressors, and uh, they're just a little too big to compress the spring. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, use a couple C clamps, which can be dangerous. Uh, that's a fairly decent sized spring, and uh, it can fly up and hit you in the face. So. First thing I'm going to do is remove the clutch packs on this. Remove snap ring. Uh, look for tools that I keep losing. And, uh, remove the clutches and the steels. These clutches look to be a little. A little more healthier. Uh, I guess because don't do a whole lot of driving in reverse. Okay. Yeah. Those still have the um, one of the clutches there. Those still have, I don't know if you can see it, the lines on them, the grooves. And the steels are relatively smooth. Some still have some light scoring on them. So, yeah, it was running pretty good. I don't know if, I seriously doubt those are the original uh, original clutches on that. some good size C clamps for this. But now all that's left is to remove the uh, clutch piston, which is going to be fun. Maybe, maybe not. Even. Probably can't see what I'm doing. That should shouldn't slip off, but you never know. So let's see if we can make that up. So. Actually, the head on these clamps wedges pretty, wedges pretty good inside there. So I lucked out on that one. This one, I'm not sure. About. That one may may slip in on. But we're going to find out here real quick. And a good word of advice is don't look directly over it. Um, yeah, see that one's starting to want to wander on me. And now that this uh, snap ring is visible, or accessible I should say, I'm going to go ahead and try my snap ring pliers on it. If I can get it to move around, and just give you an idea what this looks like. Um, 
that's compressed and the camera isn't focusing so that's compressed now uh, that's a snap ring that I want to remove and then release this gradually this clamps holding down pretty good this one over here has a smaller uh, tip on it and uh, probably shouldn't be sticking my fingers in there because this is a little dangerous to do it this way but Why buy a spring compressor when uh, when you don't use it every day? And uh, see if that shows better. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this snap ring over towards the front so I can access it with my snap ring pliers. Maybe, maybe not. Stay open long enough so I can... Get my pick in there. There we go. Snap ring now popped off. Now very carefully, I want to release the tension on this spring. Try and do it evenly as possible. This clamp's wanting to wander on me. And once it gets past a certain point, these uh, clamps are not going to hold the keeper ring in place. So, a few turns on each. And, off back and without injury I've successfully uncompressed this clutch return spring and there's a clutch piston so